was it was like that. So when I found out that my dad, you know, wasn't my biological dad, it was like everything just hit me at once. Like all the bullshit lies, even though they were just, you know, trying to whatever make my childhood good, they were still lies in my in my eyes, and in my in what I was going through at the moment. And I just felt like, you know, shitted on. So uh, that really just spiraled me out of control. I started getting in a lot more trouble in Hawaii, getting arrested. I wasn't even staying with my aunt and them no more. I was living on the streets, um, in and out of DH out there. Uh, it's like a juvenile hall, a detention facility, and um, just getting burglary charges, uh, assault charges. I was just racking up charges in Hawaii and uh, just angry, just an angry kid, not knowing at the time I was just an angry kid. Looking back, I know now. So I would get in all this trouble. And then finally in Hawaii, I can basically couldn't stay out there. The judge was going to lock me up for a long time. And so I ended up getting sent back to California. So you can imagine now I've been living on the streets a few years away from my home, away from parents, away from everything. So you can imagine uh, what type of kid I am now. I'm no longer the same, you know, and I've been pretty much on my own since I was 12. And so listening to my parents, that's not happening. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, they tried. They tried to tell me to go back to school. They tried to do the. You know, I wasn't having it. I was just out kicking it with my friends back in the same old shit. And, and this whole time I was gone. My friends were getting deeper into the gang banging and all that. It was the 90s. You know, you had Boys in the Hood. You had Colors. You had all that shit coming out. NWA and all that was out in the 80s pushing hard. So we were listening to all that shit. And uh, gang banging became pretty much the thing in the 90s for all of us. Even though we were in a small town called Vacaville. Some of these dudes uh, came from L.A., came from the Bay Area, because, you know, like I said before, the prison, some of them were there to be closer to their dads who were locked up and uh, so on, so on. Or their parents that wanted to come over here for a better job. So but these kids that came from the Bay and from L.A. and all that, they brought that gang shit. They brought that different swag, that different type of lifestyle to Vacaville. And these are the kids I hung out with because it's where I fit in. I felt 